Hey everyone and welcome back to Epic Gun Time. We're going to check out the Streamlight TLR7 sub for the Glock 43X. This will also fit the Glock 48 MOS, or basically any Glock 43X or MO, uh, 48 with uh, a rail. So make sure if you're looking for a weapon light, if you're looking for at the TLR7 or the uh, Surefire XSC like we have on this Glock 43X, make sure it has a rail. That's very important, not every Glock 43X does. So, uh, right here on this Glock 43X, we already have a Surefire XSC. We installed this last week. We were checking this out. I uh, did a video on it. If you're interested in that video, go ahead and check it out. Uh, it has a proprietary, what I think, I believe this is a proprietary rechargeable uh, weapon light here. And uh, so that's, that's kind of cool. You gotta stick in a little charger uh, to charge it. It has a 30 minute battery life. It's a 350 lumen weapon light. And today we're checking out the Streamlight. The Streamlight takes uh, a standard 123 battery and it has a 500 lumen weapon light, 1.5 hour life. Now, yeah, kind of already out of the gate without really doing much, the Streamlight is looking a lot better just by those specs on the box. You know, there's some things about the XSC that are kind of cool, kind of not cool. One. It is kind of cool that it has this proprietary weapon light that fits in a, oh, here it is right here. Fits in this little charger here. It, you gotta plug it in, obviously. Yeah, it fits in that little charger. That's kind of cool, and you can have multiple of them, and you're not having to throw away batteries. That's really nice. But at the end of the day, sometimes it's nice to just have spare batteries available and just stick a battery in when you need. So, I mean, with everything needing charged all the time, I'm kind of getting overwhelmed with all the things that need charged in my home already. And sometimes I just want to throw a new battery in it. So anyways, I don't know what your thoughts are on that, but um, that's kind of an upside and a downside. Cause so it kind of depends on what you like. Uh, personally, I could see where I would like to just have some spare 123 batteries, uh, the CR123A lithium batteries laying around and throw a new one in when it needs it. So there you go. That's, that's, uh, that's some differences right out of the box. Uh, you know, already I can see the XSC. It definitely is a lower profile. It seems like it's taking up less real estate here. The, uh, the TLR7, it, it's looking like it's gonna be a little bit longer. And that might be okay. The, the hard part in all this is finding a holster that will work with all this stuff. So uh, last week I purchased a T-Rex, uh, what do they call this thing, uh, sidecar holster and this one is meant for the Glock 43X uh, with a with a weapon light with specifically the Surefire XSC. So I already have this sidecar with the Surefire for this Surefire XSC. So it's kind of going to be a bummer that now I have this and I can already tell I'm going to like this. I got to find a different holster. I don't believe that uh, T-Rex has one for the TLR7 yet. I hope they will soon. So Anyways, let's, uh, let's take this off. Let's open this package up and see how we like it, shall we? All right, what's nice is to take off the uh, XSC. It's just a simple flathead screwdriver. All right, boom, that's done. So we don't lose this little piece. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on real quick. Otherwise we will lose it. If we can lose something, we will. All right. Okay, let's unbox this puppy. It's also important to mention that the Streamlight here, I think this was like, what, $160? I bought this from my local gun shop. And I think the XSC is somewhere around 300 bucks. I'll let you know in the comments, or like in the description below, but I, this is this is a very expensive weapon light. It's it's either two, high 200s or, or around 300 bucks. So anyways, that's a big difference. All right, here is our weapon light. Here's our Streamlight TLR7 sub light. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just loosen this up a bit. 
and see if we can throw this on our weapon. Okay, it's got kind of a spring. That's nice. Let's see. Let's see if this just slaps on here. I don't know. Yeah, not quite. Okay, there we go. All right. And then we just got to tighten it up. Do that by hand most of the way. And give it a little bit extra. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna unscrew this to get access to, great. Okay, cool. So you don't have to take the weapon light off to install the battery. That's really great. Okay, tighten this up. Okay, so it says here, uh, face cap tight, run, unscrew to detent, so safe, safe off, on. Okay, so here we go. Oh man, I can tell you already, folks, I, I love the action of this. This feels way better, honestly, than the Surefire. Ah, you know, usually I like Surefire products better. Uh, the Streamlight definitely wins. Good job, guys. You did a good job on the Glock 43X. So it's the same, same deal. You're gonna like hold it down and then let go and it turns off or you can click it and it stays on. Oh man, I like this so much better. This is way better. Guys, get the TLR7 sub for the Glock 43X. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do a clip of me kind of scanning my garage door like I did with the XSC. And we can kind of compare the two videos. Um, you know, the TLR7 is a 500 lumen weapon light. That's obviously gonna be better than the 350. Might not be, might be kind of negligible difference, but uh, man, I can already tell I like the feel of this way better and it makes a little clicking noise. Now, <laughs> Maybe that would annoy some of you. It is, it's, it's, it is important to realize that the Glock, or the uh, TLR7 does click, okay? So if, you, if that drives you crazy, or if you think it's gonna give away your position or something like that, depending on what you're doing, like that's something to know. The XSC makes no noise. The XSC makes no noise when you are pushing these tabs down but it also doesn't feel as uh, sturdy or legit, I guess, when you're pushing them. So, what do you think, guys? Does that, does that noise bother you, having that click? Let's see if I can put this close to my mic so you can hear it. Anyways, uh, yeah, compared to the XSC, makes no noise whatsoever. So let me go ahead and hold this, uh, let, turn this on in my, in my shop here, and you can kind of see the light for yourself. Okay, weapon light is on. All right, now we're comparing this to the XSC. I mean, both do the job, right? but I think we got a little bit more power with that, uh, with that Streamlight TLR7. All right, guys, what did you guys think of the weapon light comparison there? I, I definitely thought that the TLR7, uh, definitely a little bit more punchy white light. Remember, it's 150 more lumens than the XSC. Uh, so definitely the TLR7 wins in that respect. Uh, the Surefire XSC, is a little bit thinner, a little bit more compact. It's a little shorter, uh, so so you know that that's a that's definitely a, a pro. But the TLR7 sub also just feels like a more substantial weapon light, like a like more like the light that you would throw on your full size Glock. So I, I kind of like it, honestly. I just got to find a holster that'll work well with it, and that is the tricky part right there. 
I can see where, you know, maybe the XSC is more holster friendly for, for a lot of manufacturers. Uh, pro and con, you know, the Surefire is quiet when you press these buttons, when you, or press the switches on the sides, uh, the, and you can't feel, you can't feel a, a switch in there. The, uh, the TLR7, you can feel and hear that on and off. And I kind of like that. However, if you're trying to be quiet, I can see where that's a problem. So anyways, pro and con there. Um, the last thing I like about the TLR7 over the XSC is it's just taking a standard CR123A battery. And I'm already kind of, for my other weapon systems and lights and stuff like that, I'm already kind of building up a collection of these batteries. And so I feel like that's a, you know, I'm, I'm already gonna be keeping these on hand. I don't know that I like having to put this in another charger. You know, I, there's so many things that need charged now. And I gotta remember to ch recharge this thing. And then, you know, I've already spent close to $300 for it. And ideally I would have another one of these so I could swap them out. Uh, you know, have them on kind of a rotation and have a backup. So I'd probably have to spend another, I don't know how much these batteries are, I'd have to look it up, but uh, I'd have to spend some more money to get a spare. Uh, so I, I do kind of like the idea that this, this uh, weapon light is taking just a standard CR123A battery. So anyways, guys, uh, the, the Streamlight, you know, typically I like Surefire products better. I definitely like their packaging better. Uh, <laughs> but in this in this instance, the TLR7 wins. Good job, Streamlight. I think that you guys have a way better light system for the Glock 43X. Like I said, the big part now will be finding a holster manufacturer that I like. I got this one from T-Rex Arms for the XSC, but now I'm gonna have to find something that works with this Streamlight TLR7. So if you guys have any recommendations for me, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know in the comments what you think. What, what is your favorite weapon light? You know that we've compared these two. What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And uh, if, you, if this is a helpful video for you, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Hit the little bell on the way out. And thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time.